Yes. Okay, because you can't film without administration's approval in the building. Where, where's administration at? Uh, let me see. Or why would I need administration's approval? Um, it's it, one of our policies. Hello, would anybody be able to come down? Uh, there's a gentleman who wants to film in the building. Yeah. Okay, so you can't film without the approval of administration. Will they be here in a few minutes? Yes. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, my, my name's Tom. I'm okay. going to stand here in the shade. Okay. And, uh, I just came in here. Gettysburg's all about history and everything, and I, I wanted to see what the library had to offer, so I'm doing this video for myself. Okay. I'm not here to take video of anyone, personal patrons here doing their business. I just wanted to walk through and take a quick tour, walking tour of the publicly accessible areas. Okay. She said that there's a policy that I have to follow. Okay, so what you need to do, or, or what we are asking that you do, okay? Yes, you are welcome to film inside if you want. We do not want you to get any any of our patrons right we don't want any of our staff members or any little kids in it or anything well like staff that. members would be different if, if you're working in your full capacity in the library here that's it's uh, partially funded by the county right. there's no expectation of privacy but i'm not here for that i just want to take a walking tour right. i'm not here to cause commotion yeah. uh rough wedding one's feathers cause you know right. disruption or anything like that yeah. ill will yeah and, and i mean other people too uh, you, right you know have come here you know from out of town they, they come here for privacy do research uh, just has, have a peaceful moment, but I'm not here for that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, certainly, you know, you can take pictures. You know, like the architecture, or uh, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Like on our second floor, you know, we have like the marble staircase. You know that that actually, you know, people stand on to have their picture taken. Right. You know, like whenever they get married at the courthouse, or you know, what have you. But but yeah, I mean, you are welcome to film in there if you want. I don't need to be here for you know probably no more than four or five minutes. Yeah yeah, I mean just please, I mean if you can, do not get any of our staff members' faces or any. any I'm not here for for minors. Yeah. Uh, that's that's not my intent. Okay. Yeah yeah, I mean so, you know because that could be a problem. And is it? Uh, did you say Wendy? Wanda? My name's Wanda. Wanda. My name's Tom. You've been so pleasant and courteous. My first name's Tom. It's a pleasure meeting you. So I'll only be a few minutes in here and then I'll be on the way. But thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you can adhere to that, it, I mean, it was really be appreciated. Yeah. I just came from the police department and uh, normally they would let people upstairs. But I guess between the police chief and the mayor, uh, they were having a couple of meetings. So they said, as of today, I couldn't get up there. But right. uh, okay. it's always nice to see someone who's smiling <laughs> and uh, cordial. Yeah. Uh, is this... You don't have an elevator, correct? Just stairs? No, uh, we do have stairs, but we do have an elevator with stairs, too. Uh, okay. Um, we have had trouble with the elevator. Um, I don't know if it's actually working. Um, right now, the elevator... Yeah. So this is uh, Wanda, and she's going to give us a little brief history of uh, the building here. So the building was opened in 1914, and it was the Gettysburg Post Office. And it was given to the citizens of Adams County for the 50th anniversary of you know, the end of the Civil War. Um, I understand that the walls are about 18 inches thick. It is made out of granite, marble. There is some mahogany upstairs. Um, and I, I guess the price to build something like this today would be staggering. It would be staggering, yes. Probably in the millions. It, it would be. We have had um, architects and engineers come in here to, uh, you know, just to measure, you know, the soundness of the building. And they said... And then the whole way in the back to the left is our genealogical or genealogical section. Okay. Yeah. This corridor. And anyone who knows our past uh, U.S. President Eisenhower, this was the uh, area of the Eisenhower Room. Yes. This, so, so this is the corridor. Um, it still like the Eisenhower Room. You can't see it, but that farthest uh, curtain there, behind that, there's like a white... Um, okay, directly across the hallway, this apparently was a chair that Eisenhower sat in. I'm not even going to put my uh, fingerprint on there because I don't want 
Secret Service and knocking on my door in the morning. But wow, it's amazing. Okay, and then that picture up there, Eisenhower did as well. He, I mean, because he, he was a painter and a lot of people. So he painted that picture. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And then, um, so this table was in Eisenhower's office, and then uh, this is the book that he did. As you can see, his name in there. Yeah, and then he signed it. A lot of history. Or uh, Wanda, I won't get you here. I won't get you here, but uh, um, thank you for your time. You've been an awesome guide, and thank you for taking the time to share with me. You know the history thank you. out of your busy schedule. So I do yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for your interest. I mean, that's you know, that's neat that people are still interested in history and old buildings. Uh, yes, just by looking at this architecture here, they don't make it like this anymore. Yeah. You have a wonderful day. Okay. I had my grand tour. Hope you have a wonderful day. You too. All right, everyone. First Capital Transparency. I'm outside uh, in front of the library now, and I'm sure I'm going to get backlash on this one. Um, sometimes I feel an auditor has to be in the moment. You don't know what direction you're going to turn until you're in that moment. Uh, of course, when Wanda approached me. Uh, I could have said there's no expectation of privacy in public. I do not have to shut my camera off. But I felt that uh, I took a different turn and I tried to keep the camera off of her 99% of the time. And uh, she was very cordial and gave me the grand tour. So I think I probably would have gotten uh, trespassed or a police call, whatever, if I would have kept the uh, camera on her, which I would have dealt with that too. It doesn't really matter. But instead, today's uh, turn of events, I was a little more cordial. Uh, I gave a little back and they gave me that grand tour and learned a little bit about our past President Eisenhower here in downtown Gettysburg. So once again, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, a very somber place. Over 10,000 soldiers lost their life here during Gettysburg, the battle. Over 10,000 soldiers went missing. Just a quick view of the high street here. Very somber place. Once again, infamous words of President Lincoln, the Gettysburg Address. Thanks everyone for joining me on this one. I shall see you on the next one.